Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here and I'm very excited for this video. So I had the pleasure of going to an actual antique shop and doing a little store walkthrough and it was filled with Christmas, vintage mid-century Christmas, so exciting. So they frequently have a lot of blow molds here and they had a few old sleds. Uh, their blow molds sell out fairly quickly though. Um, but it's such a charming little spot. So they do sell some new things as well. That's kind of like their brand, but the main focus was Christmas. So they had this big basket filled with just plain glass bells. They were uh, $2 a piece or I think 12 for 20. And then they had a lot of decorative old bells and with the indentations and it was so beautiful. Obviously, these are a little bit pricey. I feel like they're pricey everywhere, though, unless you can score some at a thrift store, but it's getting very hard to do that nowadays. Um, but I did try to show you the prices on things as much as I could. I might have forgot. Um, and I also might have not really shown something in the background because I was so distracted by how much stuff there was. So I apologize if you spot something in the background and then I don't end up showing it. I think for the most part, the kind of fancy bells were between $10 and $12. So it sort of seems to be. Um, there was some smaller ones there. I think they were $6.50 a piece, which... It's not really too bad. It's kind of nice to be able to walk in and pick which ones you want. I spotted this light set and I thought it was so cute. I don't know if I checked the price on that actually. And they did have some of the kind of window candles. And then I spotted this. I noticed the two indentations and then when I turned it, I noticed it had three indentations on it. I thought that was beautiful. I've never seen one with that many before. And I believe that one was 21, but I can understand why it's pretty unique. At least I've never seen one before. I didn't even know they existed until that moment. Um, but just so many beautiful bells. It would be very expensive to come in and buy a whole bunch. But if you just wanted to find a few pieces, like unique ones that you didn't have, it would be great. So they did have this little section with like new Christmas things. Um, so... <clears throat> little ornaments but I think they sort of try to sell new things that sort of have a vintage look to them maybe I don't know um John really liked the mushrooms the glass mushrooms that you clip on I think they would fit in with a vintage tree ornaments as well I didn't know what these were at first but it ended up just being a box of matches but I thought they were really uh that would be really cute looking to have on your fireplace or something next to your candle they have these kind of green dishes that looked really cool but I'm pretty sure that they were new and like some towels and just a few like cute things I think that would complement vintage stuff but I really did like the um mushrooms as well I'm not sure if these birds were vintage or reproductions because there were so many it made me think that they were maybe reproductions but they also did look very vintage. I thought the store was styled so perfectly and beautiful. I was like in awe the whole time I was there. It's just so perfect looking. It's actually in like an old barn. So then on this table, they had more like, I guess like pastel color tones. They had some more glass bells. I actually have some of these and I didn't even notice those pink birds when I was walking over. So I don't know if I even, okay, yeah, I barely really show them, but looking at them now, I think they're really cute. I wish I would have taken a better look at them. I was just so overwhelmed with the amount of things in there. I've never been in the presence of so much vintage um, things all in the same place. 
This is very exciting. They had a lot of, um, I actually have these deer bookends, so I noticed that right away. Um, and then I noticed up above that they had this really um, cute owl bookshelf holder. What I meant to say was bookend, <laughs> not bookshelf holder. Um, but yeah, it just, ugh, it was a really, really nice. I have a few of these uh, boxes, the same vintage boxes. Then they had this big um, basket filled with like bottle brush trees. Of course, I spotted this plastic tree right away. <laughs> I'm like so drawn to that kind of 70s Christmas aesthetic. And they had a tray of Wade figurines for $2 a piece, which I actually do need a few, but I didn't know which ones I needed, so I just passed. I thought these salt and pepper shakers were really cute, too. Just, I don't know, honestly, the styling in the store was utter perfection. I loved this little bowling pin. He was actually a bank, so I was pointing it out to John because he is a bowler. <laughs> um, but they had a lot of different, like, um, containers and canisters and really cute like juice glasses but they had a lot of old candy um, tins that I thought were really cute and would be super cute like in a vintage kitchen I loved these glasses too I have like a problem with like <laughs> vintage glasses I think because I have a lot um, yeah just a lot of cute things not really related to Christmas over in this corner but so then I realized there was a hole upstairs to this place. So uh, a lot more um, on the stairs, even like going up. The sign was really funny, we thought. <laughs> but they had this vintage wreath, which is so cool looking. This is also completely my aesthetic. Um, I don't know if I knew the price of this or not because i'm not remembering how much it was but i loved that the original box was there and okay i did end up showing the price um it was 42 which isn't too bad even if it didn't didn't work and then they did have some like santa boots salt and pepper shakers in a few different colors which i thought were cute too um, and then another thing they were selling was these kind of vintage inspired, um, I think they were puzzles, I thought they looked cute, they would be, um, really cute to do, um, like over the holiday season. They had a few more vintage wreaths hanging up on the walls, which were really beautiful as well. And then up here, they had so much stuff. I was actually pretty shocked they had that much more stuff up here. Again, still like so beautifully and perfectly styled. So down here in this bin, they just had a lot of kind of random things. They had a lot of reflectors in there, but then I noticed the bag of, I want to say these were left in the angels holding the wreaths that spell out Noel. Um, so they were missing the N uh, and the one had its head cracked off, but they were still selling them, which I actually really appreciate. They were in pretty bad shape, but uh, for only $9.50, like, I'm sure that somebody will buy them. I almost bought them. I kind of wish that I would have even now, but um, at the thrift store I worked at, if things were damaged like that, or even not even that damaged, my boss would just want to throw it away. So I'd always want to save everything. <laughs> But they had a lot of cool looking um, reflectors in there, which was really cute. And then they had this light up Santa blow mold. I think he was like 40, 42. Mm -hmm. 
And then over here in this canister, I noticed this right away because I own this one. It's like Blue Boy from like a nursery rhyme collection I just sh shared in my flocked ornament collection. I found mine in a thrift store for much, much cheaper. So I was <laughs> found some 70s kind of plastic foliage stuff that I love so much. And I think there was a nativity kind of set up in there. Um, just it seems like a, a bunch of random things So then above that we've got some vintage garlands still in the box, which was cool. We've got some homemade um, like plastic canvas um, coasters and yeah, these reflectors were really cool. And then we've got this fairly old um, snowman candle. It was cute. I really loved these snowman picks. I regret not getting these because they're so cute and they were only $2.50. But um, I just, I forgot about them. <laughs> we've got a few plastic these little you'd like hang them on your wall I think I don't feel like they're that old but I could be wrong I remember them like in the 90s I have a hard time looking at anything from the 90s as being vintage even though like I know that I guess technically you could call it vintage but um yeah <laughs> makes me feel old I thought this little house with Santa on top was really cute as well. I wasn't sure what these were at first, but I think they were ties. And then, oh look, some Christmas records. I'm happy to report I did not buy any Christmas records here. <laughs> and they also had some vintage wrapping paper down there, which is adorable. I show like a close up look at that later on. Then they had this um, tree made from kind of garland, I guess, with some Santa faces on it. Some old um, Christmas bulbs. I love when things are still in the package. It just makes it that much more special. I love this little plastic angel. This had a very 1960s aesthetic to me, maybe early 70s. And it was very inexpensive. I thought this tree was very interesting. It was like a tree inside of a wreath. I don't know. And then this took me all the way back to my childhood. This little hanging thing with the, reminded me of something you'd see in like the Grinch, <laughs> the cartoon. I thought these lights were so cool. I've never, um, I don't think I've seen them like this before. Um, I actually forgot that those were there until just now and it makes me kind of wish I bought them. And then they had the, color wheel there that was going around they didn't have any aluminum trees i was hoping they would have an aluminum tree but i came in here not planning to buy anything i just thought it would be cool to walk through and look at everything and 
film a walkthrough because I thought maybe some of you guys would like to see this vintage stuff, but that all changed when I spotted this basket. They had an entire basket filled with nothing but flocked ornaments, which are my favorite type of ornament, and um, I instantly knew in that moment <laughs> that I was going to end up getting something at least. Um, it was really cool because they had a lot. They did have a lot that I already have, um, but they did have a lot that I don't already have or that I'd actually never seen before. So I spent a lot of time looking through all of these and I don't know if I did the best job filming it because I was really into looking at it <laughs> for myself at this point. Um, so stay tuned at the end of the video i do show you what i ended up buying from here but uh i was just so excited to see so many flocked ornaments i've been looking at every single thrift store and i haven't seen any um and i was really disappointed <laughs> that i just haven't been finding any so when i saw this big basket i thought okay this is the jackpot so this was definitely an unexpected uh, bonus of coming in to film this video As I'm looking at the footage right now though, I can see ones that I didn't buy that I'm thinking, oh, I should have got that one too. Um, oh well, I'm happy with what I ended up getting. They even had a Pluto in there, which is really cute. I kind of wish I, that I would have got this one, but I didn't. I just kind of, I put aside a bunch that I kind of liked and then I had to sort of narrow it down from there to just to, you know, not spend an absorbent amount of money. We were out thrifting at a bunch of stores on this day. So um, I was, you know, also thrifting. So I had that in mind as well. So then over on the opposite uh, side of where I was looking at, they had some more bells. They had these really cute napkin rings, but I don't think I noticed them when I was there. And so I don't think I looked um, too closely at them, but I was distracted by the cards. At first I thought they were um, vintage inspired cards because they were in the plastic sleeves, but I think um, they were actually vintage cards, but they put them in the sleeves probably to protect them. But I just, like, it's just little touches like that that make me happy because I find in a lot of antique stores, things are just really cluttered and dirty looking and just, I don't know. This place was like extremely clean, organized, and just beautiful to look at. I thought this little snowman was super cute. Um, and that bottle brush tree was so large. <laughs> I think that might be like the biggest one I've seen. They also had a couple more sets of those uh, vintage Noma lights that, uh, I actually do, not this type, but I do have a vintage set of Noma lights um, that I got at estate sale for five dollars and they're my Christmas treasure. <laughs> They did have a couple of sets of vintage candles. I thought those kind of peppermint stick ones were cute. And then they also had the kind um, with the design on them. These were candy canes on these ones. A lot of times they have snowmen or Santa faces. Or... So now we're back at the records and yes, I refrained from buying a record. It might be a first for me, but um, they were cute, but I really do have 
it's probably way too many. So now um, I thought I would do like more of an up close flip through of the wrapping paper. These were all so beautiful. And finally, when we went down to pay, I noticed they had this antique cash register, which I just thought was such utter perfection. They obviously weren't using it, but um, it just completes the whole aesthetic. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you what I ended up getting from the antique store. I didn't have any plans to buy anything. I just thought it would be a cool video. Plus I wanted to walk through and look at everything. Thought you guys might like to see that kind of stuff as well. But once I got in there and seen some of the things, I couldn't resist. So I think it ended up costing $27 in total, which isn't bad. I think that they had pretty reasonable prices for the most part. So first up, I got some vintage wrapping paper. So I got three different ones. I thought this was so cute. So they're just sheets. These were $1.50 a piece. But this one was so cute. Like, uh. And then this one, which I loved. And then we've got this one, more kind of traditional colors. And yeah, they were $1.50 each, so. I, I wanted to get more, but realistically, <laughs> I thought three was probably fine. Um, I might try to like do something with them. I'm not exactly sure, so. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna use them to wrap gifts. So next up, I ended up getting this plastic angel. Um, she's holding some uh, like 70s foliage that I love so much. I feel like this kind of plastic um, 70s foliage is my Christmas aesthetic. I have a lot of it. So I ended up getting this. This was only $4.50 and I think um, it's because it has a crack in it here but that doesn't bother me. If you're new here, I kind of like broken like vintage ornaments. I feel, I don't know, it makes them more special. So I might try to just glue it or something or just leave it, I don't know, but um, it does have some fishing twine. So I guess I could hang it. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put it, but I just thought it was way too cute to leave and the price was really great as well. So then I got some flocked ornaments, which these are my favorite kind of vintage ornament. I have quite a few, a few weeks ago I posted um, in my entire collection. So now I have more. So I, they had a big basket full, which I believe I showed. So I saw this guy and I think it's a puppy. Um, and I, I just wanted it so much. So flipped it over and it was only 350, which I think is pretty good for an antique store. 
So I decided I definitely wanted that one. And then I saw another one that I just loved. I think this one is so cute. Little bird with the presents. <laughs> and this one was $4.50, which again, wasn't bad. Just if you were buying them online, it would be more expensive than that. And then I saw these dogs. These dogs kind of remind me of Snoopy. Kind of have the same head. Um, there was no price on this though. So I think the most expensive ones were um, priced at $6.50. So I thought, well, it might be $6.50, but I'm getting two. So that would be great. But when we got up to the counter, um, you know, we said, oh, this doesn't have a price on it. So he just charged us $3.50. He just charged us the lowest price, which I thought was really nice. So got two of these dogs. I don't have any like this already. And then lastly, I got these two. I'm assuming they're bears. Um, I think these are adorable. And these ones had no price either. And he charged $3.50 for these ones as well. So is six flocked ornaments for 15 plus tax. I think that's a really good deal. Plus, especially these two are super unique. I've not seen any like that before. And I haven't seen any like these before either, but I just feel like these ones are a lot more unique. So anyway, I'm very, very excited between the flocked ornaments and then the vintage paper and this little angel. I think it was a good trip overall. And I, <laughs> I wish that I had just tons of funds to spend because there were so many beautiful things in there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I did actually do some thrifting that same day. So I got a bunch more vintage Christmas things from uh, just regular thrift stores, which I'm gonna put in a separate haul video, which will probably be posted soon. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to catch that one. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again real soon.